In this video, I want to talk about using the command line to enter dimensions and um, commands. But before I do that, I just want to talk briefly about absolute and relative addresses or locations. If you see on this brand new document that I've just opened, there's this little red cross. And as I hover my mouse cursor close to it, you can see down here, there are some, some numbers that keep changing as the mouse moves around. As I bring the mouse close to the red cross, you can see that the numbers get close to zero and zero. So this, this, these, these numbers over here, these are the absolute values, and these are the relative values. We'll talk about that in a minute. So if I start drawing a line, and I'm going to use a two-point line, and I'm going to turn on snap to grid, so that when I draw, I'm going to snap to that point. You can see there that all those numbers are now zeros. I'm going to click. And now I want to draw a line. Okay. Now, if you look over here, I'm going to put my cursor at a point over here, and you can see that all of the values are now 100. That means that the x value of the point that I'm about to select is 100 millimeters, and the y value is also 100 millimeters, both in terms of relative and absolute positioning. So in fact, I'm not going to go to 100, 100. I'm going to go up here to 200, 200, and I'm going to click. So now I have a line that starts at 0, 0, and it ends at 200, 200. But now if I move the cursor again, you'll see that the first set of numbers says 300, 100. That is the absolute position. My um, crosshairs are now located at a position that are 300 millimeters to the right of the Red Cross in the X direction and 100 millimeters upwards from the Red Cross in the Y direction. Okay, from the Red Cross, from the absolute zero, zero point of my drawing. However, the second set of numbers says 100 minus 100. They are relative to this little red circle that you can see here, okay, where I've last clicked, I'm now moving from there, I'm moving another 100 millimeters to the right in the x direction, and I'm moving down 100 millimeters in the y direction. So that is why we're showing the 100 minus 100. So the first, this first pair of numbers is the absolute position. And the second pair of numbers is the relative to position relative to this little red circle, which is where we last clicked. Okay, so um, I'm going to just click there and get a, get a line and escape out of that. Okay. What then are these numbers below here? We've got a number and an angle bracket and another number with a degree sign. Oops, that's auto saving the drawing. Okay. So the top values are x and y coordinates in both cases. The bottom values are polar coordinates. It's an r, a radius, distance, and an angle. Okay, an angle measured from the um, positive horizontal, positive x direction, horizontal. Okay, so, so now that we know that, we can use that information when we want to enter values from the command line. Okay. And usually the way I work with the command line is I'm going to draw, I need to draw a line. I know where it starts. It starts on an existing part of the drawing. But I don't know what, well, I, I'm. there's no way for me to click on to end the line. I want to be able to type in some dimensions to tell me where, I know that the dimensions are to where the line must end, but there isn't something to click on. So I'm going to turn off snap to grid. I'm going to turn on snap to end point and I'm going to draw another line. Okay. And I'm going to use the two point line tool and I'm going to start at the end over here. So I'm going to click. And now the only places I can go because I've got snap to end point on are to those two existing end points, but that's not where I want to go. Let's say I want to draw another line that is a hundred millimeters long in the X direction and it stays horizontal. So the Y direction doesn't change. I can use the command line to enter those values. Um, and the way that you do that, you can either click into this. Um, this is the command line, this little box at the bottom here. You can either click into it 
or if you press the space bar. Notice that now there's a cursor there that I can start typing. So if I type 100 comma 0, what I'm saying is 100 millimeters in the X direction, 0 in the Y direction. And then if I press enter, my new line is going to go from where I've currently selected, where that little red circle is, to where I'm telling it to end. And I'm going to press enter. And that didn't work. Didn't do what I would quite what I was expecting. Why was that? It's gone to a point that is 100 millimeters from the absolute zero in the X direction and zero in the Y direction. Okay, so in fact, it did do what I told it to do, not quite what I meant it to do. Okay, so I entered an absolute coordinate, a point 100 millimeters to the right of the absolute zero and zero millimeters above that absolute zero. So that's what it's done. But that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted a line that went from here across horizontally to there. So let's do that again. I'm going to escape out of here. And I'm going to draw a new line. I'm going to start a new line that starts at this point. Okay, and I'm actually going to turn off all the snaps so that we can see what we're doing. And I want a line that starts at this point, but it goes out horizontally by 100 millimeters. And again, if I press the space bar, you can see that now I'm ready to enter a command. But now I don't want to enter 100 comma 0 because that's an absolute reference. I want to enter shift 2 or at sign. 100 comma 0 and what that is then saying it's saying relative to where I last clicked so it's going to go a hundred millimeters towards the right and zero millimeters in the in the in the y direction from where I last clicked from that little red circle okay. and if I press enter well I'm going to move my cursor around and I'm just going to press enter so we can see where the line goes and in fact then it does what I want okay and I'm still in line drawing mode, so I can enter another point. So let me enter another one. And this time I'm going to make it go vertically upwards. So no change in the X direction, 100 millimeters up in the Y direction. And there I have my line. And then lastly, I want to make another line. But let's say I want it to be um, 100 millimeters. I'm just going to zoom, uh, pan over a little bit so we've got a bit more space. I want it to be 100 millimeters long, but not just horizontal. I want it to be down by 30 degrees. Okay. Now, I could get out my calculator and work out that if it's 100 millimeters long and down by 30 degrees, what would be the X and the Y value? I could do that, but there's an easier way. So what I'm going to do, and again, because it's relative to the, to the red circle where I'm starting, I must start with an at sign. I still want it to be 100 millimeters long, but now I'm not going to use a comma because the comma means X and Y. I'm going to use the shift comma, which is the little angle bracket. And that is then saying instead of X and Y coordinates, I'm now specifying polar coordinates, a, a radius, which is 100 millimeters and an angle. And an angle I want is minus 30 degrees. And if I press enter, I then get a line that is 100 millimeters long at an angle of minus 30 from the horizontal x positive x direction. So as you can see, we can use this command line to type in commands. And in some cases, it's really helpful to do that. Not always. It's often when you've got an existing drawing and you want to click from one point to another point, it's easier just to click if you have a point on which to click. But sometimes you don't have anything to click onto, but you know where that point should be relative to where you're currently working, in which case it's quite often convenient and helpful to use the command line. You'll see in the um, learn site you know, under week six, I have put a link to the using the command line because you can actually do all of, almost all your work directly in the command line. I'm going to escape out of this and give you an example. Let's say I want a line. So I've clicked in the command line. I can do LI for a line. Press enter. Now it says, where's the first point? And I'm going to start from where that red circle is. So I'm going to say at 0, 0. That's the first point. Then it says specify the next point. And then I want to go at 
let's say x is going to be minus 100 and then y sorry minus 100 comma and y is also going to be minus 100 and there's the line and I can keep doing that as much as I want. Um, there are commands for circles and for ellipses and all the other things, all the tools that we would normally be using over here, you can actually um, use those tools directly from the command line. All right, thank you for watching.